How can we analyze the safety of our drinking water? How can we determine the expiry date of food? Or how can we solve a murder case from a single blot of ink? Though these questions may seem unrelated, they can all be solved with the help of the technique, chromatography. This technique was invented by the Russian-Italian botanist Mikhail Sivet in 1900. This technique helps us separate components and chemicals, and Sivet first used it to separate plant pigments, such as chlorophyll and carotenoids. In particular, Sivet used column chromatography. In column chromatography, certain chemicals, sand, and the sample to be analyzed are added into a glass column. Some components of the sample flow faster than others, and therefore, the different components of the sample are separated. But this is not the only type of chromatography. Remember the questions asked at the beginning of the video? Ion chromatography is used to examine the chemicals in drinking water. High-performance liquid chromatography helps study preservatives in food, and thin-layer chromatography aids forensic investigation of inks. These techniques all serve a similar purpose, to separate and determine the identity of chemicals. However, other reputable scientists did not acknowledge Sivet's works. For example, in 1912, the Nobel Prize-winning chemist Richard Willstatter and the biochemist Arthur Stoll had published an article together denying Sivet's technique. This was because they had failed to replicate his experiment, as they had used a strong chemical that destroyed the chlorophyll. But unfortunately, this discovery was only made years later, so Sivet was not recognized for his invention in his time. And in 1919, he died due to a chronic throat inflammation. Chromatography was only revived in 1930 by other scientists, 10 years after Sivet's death. Though Will Satter initially denied chromatography, he went on to develop another type of chromatography, paper chromatography. Today, over 100 years away from the year of invention, chromatography is still being used in a wide range of industries. Though Sivet was not recognized at his time, it is undeniable that he is a hero and that his pioneering work left an indelible legacy for us.